then we can carry the bags, I mean the bike, up on her shoulder. Tracy's already made it across once. Phil is going across now with both his bags. And I'm scared crapless to attempt this. <laughs> Peeless. And You're out of pee. I'm peeless because <laughs> I just peed. <laughs> All right, these guys made it. <clears throat> I'm going to take a shot at it. <coughs> Mommy. <laughs> so you guys came down from Snowball up by Whit Spring. Whit Spring. Uh huh. And you're from Springfield. How many days you been on the road? Uh, we started Saturday morning. How many miles you got? Uh, uh, we're a little over a hundred total. Uh -huh. I think we got 35, six miles, 38 miles today. Now, how'd you find out about this route here? This is the old uh, uh, Missouri North Arkansas rail rail line here. The, of course, they took the tracks out in. Well, they're calling this. This loop and several different options on it. Those are grinder trail. Nice. And it is. It has been mapped and surveyed for bike packing specifically. But obviously, you could take it on a. Maybe you want to use a motorcycle on it or something. But we found out about it through that organization that heads that up. Great. And how long you been riding? Now, I've been riding as an adult since 1984. But this gravel, I've only been riding this type of gravel riding about four or five years. And this is my first big, fully loaded overnight type ride. Great. He's got a lot more expertise, Tracy. Hey, Tracy. It's crazy. How'd you like to walk? You know, it's not bad. No, no problem, no, huh? I think we're, I think yeah. Good. Just ankle deep. Yeah. So. And it's gone down. Yesterday it was really pouring over. It was. It's probably gone down, maybe uh, eight inches, maybe or yeah. just a bit, yeah. bit more. Yeah, no, I think we're, we're good. We just take our time and be careful. Yeah. How, how'd you find out about this trail? The same as the uh, the guide there. And well, the uh, I found out about it through the uh, Whit Springs uh, Community Center up there. They, uh, they do a ride. Is that where you live? No, I live in Springfield, Missouri. Okay, I yeah. I bike ride every October. Uh -huh. And uh, through that, I learned of, of this trail. Yeah, two's all right. And uh, huh? it's uh, you okay. So far, it's been good. So between uh, Tilly and Whit's Spring, there's a uh, used to be a convalescent place right there. Uh, Harley Davidson was the man that lived there, and his son still lives across from there. Yeah, I lived out that way for a little ways. So, yeah. Whatever. Uh, we went from Whit's uh, Springs to Tilly so. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. And how long you been riding? Long, long time. I've been riding almost 20 years probably. Nice. So a lot of long treks. Yeah. yeah I met a guy that uh, he f had his bike shipped and he flew out to San Diego and he rode back home to North Carolina, I think yeah, it was. I've done stuff similar. Nice. Yeah. How long did it take you when you went cross country? Uh, we went from Pueblo, which is halfway cross country, uh -huh. to Astoria. Uh, the best coach took us six weeks. Um, my wife and I did that on a campus. Nice, very nice. How cool. So I'm at reallibertymedia.com. My, my name is Vincent Easley, and it's real easy to remember easily, yeah, right? Yeah, so right. look me up. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Vincent Easley the second. I'm the only yeah. one. And uh, normally I do ride, radio on Fridays at noon, mm -hmm. but I'm taking the summer off. So last, well, I'm going to come back in with a few intermittents, but I fit, I'm going to finish up my last half part of a series got 13 and a half parts okay. in it yeah. but anyways i wanted to do some this stuff here and bring it all together in a story and go talk to the director in van buren county for the tourism so this is listed van buren county I can't remember the site now but van buren county where uh, we're at Cersei county. well are we in Searcy or van buren well, right here Searcy county is uh, who uh, kind of set it up and over right yeah yeah that's up in, in whit spring yeah, uh-huh but we're You'll be crossing to, well, I don't remember if we're in Van Buren or Stone County right now. So right here, actually. And then you get into Shirley, and that'll be uh, Van Buren County again. Yeah. This is a cool area. Lots of yeah. Areas, man. There's hardly a flat road. Uh, I know. Up or down. 
It's beautiful. Yeah, there's a little road that goes to the right. It goes up to the top of this mountain here. That's Loop Mountain up there on, on top. So you're from Springfield, too? From Springfield. And all you guys known each other for a long time? Yeah, I've worked with Tracy at uh -huh. Utility in Springfield, and I just met uh, Cliff this weekend. Just oh, great, so. great. So you've been... Just, uh, uh, this is this is bike packing basically. So you got all your gear on your bike, right? You, you know, so you're, we're ready to do a multi-day event. You know. Hey, so. Have you guys ever done any hiking like uh, the Appalachian Trail or anything? Not that, but I've done the Buffalo River Trail here in Arkansas. Oh, Arkansas. great! Yeah. And that's how far is that? Well, that's uh, 33 miles. 33. The when we do from Boxley to Pruitt. Uh huh. But they got one up here by uh, not too far from uh, Tyler Bend. I think a new 20 something mile section. Oh, great. It's hikers only, you know, it's not biking. Really. Yeah. Now, up in Missouri, there's a, there's a big long trail up there that uh, I, I think it might be complete. It's like the Ozark three, Trail. the Ozark, Ozark Trail, yeah. 300 and something miles or yeah, something. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Uh huh. And have, have you done any hiking or biking there? Not on it. Uh huh. It runs mainly north and south. I see. The eastern part of Missouri. Uh huh. Yeah. Great. So, we're just doing our thing here you know i appreciate yeah. appreciate you guys stopping talking you bet, no problem yeah it's good it's a it's a pretty country beautiful beautiful area. i love it yeah and we're on the ozark grinder trail ozark it's grinder it's trail route through here and they're trying to build it up for yeah helping communities in arkansas uh -huh. that it intersects through right well there's not a lot of big business between uh shirley right. and, and back up oh, to I tilly know. <laughs> i know so if you get people like us out on this stuff we come to these small communities and they're pretty quaint, you know, you can yeah. see a lot of neat stuff sometimes uh -huh. so that you wouldn't see otherwise. Yeah, there was the old jail in Shirley, it, it fell down, I guess, or burned or something. And the, the train bridge, you'll be going across it when you enter okay. into Shirley. Yeah. And that was the... Uh, I've uh, seen pictures of it on the internet. Mm -hmm. Arkansas North Missouri Rail. Okay. And I think they took it out sometime around during or before the World War II. Oh, okay. Took the steel up and uh, uh, used to this LB Road. Uh, you'd come down the LB Road and you go hit the River Road and you run it back and forth. But uh, people come along and buy up land and they gate the road, gate the property off. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's really too bad. And I've been up a good part of it and uh, worked with a guy that graded a yeah. section of it too. Okay. So I've been accessed to what is normally closed off. Mm -hmm. But if you're on the river, there's the, you know you're you got right to go through. Oh, yeah. So I saw some canoers or kayakers yesterday. This yeah. is pretty good. I like kayak too. I like, uh, nice. I like everything outdoors. Biking, hiking, and canoeing, kayak. I, I don't have a canoe, but I got kayaks. And the latest thing I got is a paddleboard. I don't know if you've seen that Yeah, uh -huh. stand, stand up, right? And I got one that you can fish from too. So nice. Uh, it's fun. Well, I, my friend, I think if the river ain't gone down too far, he's going to come back this weekend. And, uh, so I'm, I'm camping out for a week or two. I decided I got this canoe. I want to float it, but I don't want to do it by myself because yeah, I'm not experienced. All, this is called the natural state. Yeah. Know, so, and I can tell why around here. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Very natural around here. Uh -huh. well, thanks a bunch. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. you talking to you me. Bet. Thank and you. And I'm going to watch you cross here and okay. watch them, and I'm going to film just a little bit. All right. I say portage, but I think the right way is saying portage, right? Uh, maybe I say portage too. Oh, good. All right. If you gotta, you gotta drag your canoe over. You portage. You know, is what I call it. Oh, good. So I, I wasn't yeah, too. We're, yeah. We're speaking the same language. Or maybe it's just our southern knees that we're speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody called me a hillbilly, and I said, "No, I'm a, I'm a redneck hillbilly, southern fried slice of country with a western swing and a dab yeah. of tul salsa from Tulsa." <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So no problem with the water shoes, no with and the water he's shoes. got his bike and tennis shoes on. So, are, is anybody, you look closer to being the, what do they call that when you try to go ultra light as light as you can? 
Uh, no, I'm, I'm about all the Oh, really? So not a minimalist. That's not the word I was... Oh, I forgot you didn't carry stuff across. I was looking like, wow, you're light. <laughs> Have a great one. Thanks, man. Y'all enjoy. Yeah. Maybe, huh? Ten and a half miles down is what it says. Is that what you guys have on your, your guide? Ten and a half miles from here? Shirley? Uh-huh. I don't know. I'm not sure what the, the guy what we would buy. He, he's our navigator. He uh -huh. knows more about this. But yeah, I'd say you're about five. Eight to ten maybe. How old are you? You gotta be fifty something. Yeah. Sixty six this fall. Good job. Don't give up, right? Give up. And that dude there is, he's, he's a sport and a pacemaker. Really? Real nice. How old are you? I am uh, 55 this year. Me too. Oh, really? Yeah, you're in a lot better shape than I am. Well, I, I got rheumatoid okay, arthritis with mine too. Oh, though. okay, I see. Well, you know what? No matter what you got, Keep going. So uh, I got hit by a car on my bike. Oh wow! Not long ago, and it almost killed me. Oh but no! Here I am talking to you now. You yeah. Well, I got a titanium rod in my jaw. My jaw hit the car at over 20 miles an hour, split it in two. Wow. You know? But you know, that happens. Life, life will deal you some bad circumstances. How you respond, huh? But what are you made of? You know, are you going to bounce back, or are you just going to go in the corner and cry? Right. So, right. I just. Uh, have a good one. How old's your buddy across the river? He is uh, 58, I believe. Wow. You guys are in great shape. Hey, thank you. Inspiration. He coming back for his buddy, I think. Fell in these dry bags would keep me afloat. Good man. Good. You're a little All right. Enjoy. Nice to talk to you guys. I appreciate it. One more trip across. These cycling shoes are pretty slippery. They your next, your next tennis shoes and boat shoes. All right. Your next river crossing will be across the old train bridge when you get to Shirley. Take care.
Well, they'll get on up the hill and down another and back up several more.